With nearly 600 passengers and 200 crew on board, the fire that destroyed the SS Neuronic on Toronto's harbour front will forever be etched in our city's history as one of the worst disasters ever. Now, on the anniversary of that tragic day, our Adrian Gobriel sits down with the last living first responder who risked his own life to save dozens of passengers from death. September 17th, 1949, 65 years ago today. Arguably the worst day in Toronto's history. We turned off Cherry Street onto Lakeshore and we were looking directly west and the sky was lit up. The SS Neuronic had docked here near the foot of Young and Queen's Quay, what was then known as Pier 9. That was about 2.30 in the morning when a small fire started in the linen closet on board. Ronald Anderson and his partner, Warren Smokey Shattuck, got the call. Little did they know they would be responding to the single greatest loss of life in Toronto's history. The massive five-deck ship was going up in flames from bow to stern. Anderson and his partner were immediately swarmed by passengers fleeing, many in need of immediate medical care. All of them were in desperate shock condition. Women were crying uncontrollably. Almost all of the deceased were reportedly American. The neurotic was on a seven-day pleasure cruise, docked in Toronto for two nights after departing from Michigan. Many of the sleeping passengers were burned to death in their rooms. Others were trampled, trying to flee. Those people were in, in the last throes of their life that were on board that ship. For the first time ever, dental records were used to ID bodies. But of all the vivid memories that have stayed with Anderson over the last six decades, it's the row of corpses and the stench of burnt flesh inside a makeshift morgue at the CNE's one-time horticultural building. Every time um, there's a CNE exhibition, I've said to to whoever I'm with, my children or anything. I want to stay clear of the horticultural building. Now the death toll from the SS Neuronic has never been precisely determined. The fatalities range anywhere from 118 deaths to 139 deaths. Ronald Anderson wanted to share his story so we never forget the men and the women who battled beside him and all those who couldn't be saved. At the old Pier 9 near the foot of Young and Queen's Quay, Adrian Gobriel, City News.